finish recording. You're so bossy. All right, go for that one. Spit on. Hey everyone, it is Friday and we are going to be doing something with this hot water heater, cleaning we're, it out. We're just getting the, uh, uh, treating the hot water heater. We're uh, getting, we just bought this motorhome and if you uh, are just buying a motorhome or just regularly, uh, you should clean out your hot water heater right away. This is Atwood. You can tell by the uh, plastic plug here this happens to be a 7 8 plug uh, the other style will there'll be a anode in there um, also so, known as a stink rod uh, yeah stink rod pretty much <laughs> it smells like rat eggs. so uh, we're going to treat this with vinegar there's a lot of different ways you can do that you can uh, so I've seen people take off the uh, pop-off valve here and fill it up halfway with vinegar there um, our uh, coachman Freelander came with a winterization hose inside so we're just going to suck up the vinegar through that and run it into the uh, hot water heater and we're going to do uh, three it's a six gallon tank so we're going to do three gallons of vinegar and three gallons of water and then turn it on and let it uh, just get warm for a good six to eight hours so you can tell right here it's a used it's a used motor home we just bought it but uh this right here is a good in indicator that you need to really flush out your uh, hot water heater. So if you have sediment, yeah, it's like calcium, calcium vinegar? deposits and stuff. Minerals, something minerals. Yep. Up. So the vinegar will really help loosen that up, and then we'll flush it out. You get my PJs in there, did you? I didn't get your PJs. So in my situation here, I just have a uh, winterization hose. I'm going to shove it into the distilled uh, white vinegar run about three gallons into the hot water tank and then this is what we're using clover valley distilled white vinegar i'm gonna run about three gallons into the uh hot water tank down here i just opened up my hot water heater it's hard to kind of see in there but uh, i put my hose into the vinegar vinegar gallon open up my hot water heater so that'll start getting ready to flow once I turn on my water pump and open up my uh, hot water valve on a sink here so right now I'm gonna turn on my hot water pump so now we're gonna turn on the water pump just to bring in the vinegar into the uh, hot water tank so we're not turning on the, well, the water heater yet just the water water pump So that's starting to fill the water heater up. Turn it off. We're just sucking down these gallons of vinegar. Filling up the hot water tank. What do you think, bub? Alright. Why is the um what I don't know. So I'm gonna turn on I'm getting ready to. So I'm gonna turn on this gas water heater right now. It's on! Sounded like it lit. Okay, so I've got the water pump on, the water heater is on, and I'm gonna go outside and show you guys the water heater outside. Move, Chris. We've put three gallons of the vinegar and three gallons of just regular water in the hot water heater. We're gonna let it sit for approximately like six hours in there so it can penetrate and break down any of the calcium deposits. Um, I can't see a flame but there is a flame in there. It started right up. It's the first time we've actually lit it. Looks like there's still a little bit of a leak. But we'll 
let you know how it all pans out. Tony's ready to use a shower. That's the flame in there. Oh yeah, and we got a brand new oxygenic shower head that we picked up. What'd you do, Bob? You helping? You gonna go in? Go on. So we just turned off the uh, water heater. We're turning off, turning off the water pump right now also. And we're going to let that cool down for just a little bit and uh, drain out the water heater again and uh, flush it out with some fresh water. Okay, so we ran the hot water heater for about, I don't know, four or five hours or so. And then... Uh, turned off the hot water heater and let it set overnight for I don't know a good 20 hours Give or take with the uh, vinegar and water in there. So now we're just going to drain it fully and then uh, Rinse it out pretty good So just make sure that your water is not hot anymore Or if it is you know hot make sure you're you're well aware of it. You don't get burned It's going to spray out so I'll be ready for that. Now if you look right here, sometimes you'll see little white, little white specks and stuff. We'll pop this uh, pop-off valve up here. So it'll just open up that air. You can really smell the vinegar, so that's a good thing. Once in a while I'm seeing like little uh, white chunks right here, if you see down here. little white uh, sediment. <laughs> and we ran a little bit through the uh, fresh water on the inside also, the sink, both the sinks and stuff, just to kind of disinfect the lines a little bit. Uh, vinegar is really good at cleaning out the uh, lines. We use it like our coffee maker and stuff. Now if you're on a campground or a place with water hookup, you can hook up your water and then turn on that water and let it fill up your, or let it kind of flush out your hot water tank. I'm going to close this valve back. And I have this, uh, the blow gun, but we're going to use it for uh, water and stick it up in there. I have an attachment to hook it up to the water hose. All right, so now we're flushing it out with the city water and you can see these white chunks. That's all coming off the, uh, a little bit on the walls, but a lot on the heating element inside there, or like around the heating area where, uh, or at the bottom where sediment would settle at the bottom of the water tank also. Little white specks, but. All we're doing right now is just turning on and off the city water supply. Kind of churn, churning up the, uh, the water in there a little bit. All right, back on. With all, with all the other uh, faucets and everything closed, the water only has one path to go to straight to the uh, hot water tank. You can see all this. All those white chunks. Right, close again. Perfect. This is good. All right, go again. This is what the vinegar is doing to the dog. <laughs> He's the fanciest window licker around. <laughs> it is not like the smell of the vinegar, apparently. Grace. Don't, wait for, don't bring it by me. Go. So that's about it for uh, cleaning out a uh, hot water heater and uh, flushing it and draining it and all that stuff. There's a bunch of other better videos than mine. I just, it's something that we do every, uh, probably 
once a year, twice a year. That's about it. Thanks for watching. Yeah, no, you don't need it.